Welcome to the No Offence But podcast where we discuss the topics that are raw, real and relatable and helping you to feel socially acceptable. My name is Holly. I'm Lacey. And I'm Queen. And what are we discussing today, ladies? Today we are talking everything thruple life and open relationships. And I just wanted to distinguish the difference between what they are because I feel like from our poll, people are quite confused that they're actually very different things. Mm. So a thruple is a three people in a relationship. Now, there are relationships that are like this in many different cultures. A lot of the Middle East, they do this. Mm. Mormonism, Mm. I think, do that. Yeah. So many different religions have multiple wives. Why is it always in religions, multiple wives and never multiple husbands? Well, (laughs) well, (laughs) well. I mean, a lot of cultures do also have where women are the head and they have multiple husbands. Really? In some African cultures, yeah. Okay, amazing. But I know Go what African mean. cultures. I'm all I know what you yeah. mean with religion. It's always, oh, he has ten wives, but if she takes another man, she's a whore. Scarlet yes. letter, that kind of thing. Yeah. So crazy. So that's kind of a thruple relationship where it's consensual, everyone knows what the deal is. It's a real relationship. I want to mm. really put out there, like, there's no sleeping around outside of this. There's these three and that's how it is. An open relationship is where there's a couple and they're together. And again, it's consensual again. It's spoke about. There's rules around it. But other people can kind of, they can go off and have relationships with other people. But again, the communication has to be um, consensual. The the people have to be consensual. It's a very open, kind of respected relationship. And there's often quite rules that everybody sticks to within mm. an open relationship as well. So, like, everyone in the open relationship knows the deal. So, the, mm. the third party will know that the people are in a relationship, they're married or committed, um, they're not going to want to go off with the third person. There's not going to be a relationship with the third person at any point, like a future relationship. Yeah. Um, it's a completely different um, relationship they have than to what a thruple is. A thruple is just the three in the relationship, whereas the open means you can go out and... Which, speaking of, did you guys see in the media, David Hay, Mm -hmm. living his best life. Yeah. Living his best life. With his, their wife, wife up, husband and wife. Are they married? David Hay. I don't think they are. The model, I thought, wow. They're quite young, aren't they? She's quite young. Quite young. But yeah, doing bits. Yeah, and they actually put it on Instagram, right? They did. So it's becoming a... Yeah, I do think massive respect to that, because I think sometimes people think of thruples or open relationships and I think so many people are negative about it Mm. and I don't know whether that's because a lot of people are jealous or they've got big egos or they just want to be the one and only for one person but I think quite often when open relationships and thruples are mentioned a lot of people do tend to turn their noses up at it and Mm. I think that's probably just because they either don't understand it or they've never taken the time to see what somebody in an open relationship or a thruple is benefiting, they automatically think, oh, I don't want somebody else with my other half. Yeah, it, people just think sex straight away. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, like, people don't understand the consensual part of it. And I just wanted to say a few facts, because why I think it is such a kind of taboo topic and why people are so judgmental is because it's not really well spoken about in the UK. Mm. I spoke up my auntie yesterday, and she was like, that's huge in America. And I actually mm. checked, one in nine people in America have experienced a thruple or a part of one. Bloody hell. One, one in, in nine. nine. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's very common. So to her, she was common. like, what, why are you talking about that? That's normal. I was like, oh. <laughs> I've been in one. <laughs> yeah. I should have she was like, not me. <laughs> She's not one of the nine. Books a flight to the States. Yeah. <laughs> Please emigrate it. I'm going, going guys. Be nice knowing you. <laughs> so, but in the UK, um, 2% of people reportedly had been in a thruple relationship. Now, wow. I don't know if that's a, a lot lower because um, we're not so open. I do think actually, you can, are quite prude. We quite are. Very, yeah. very, yeah. very prude. And I think like once people know what it <laughs> is, or if you're in a relationship maybe that actually is like comfortable and where you've got a really healthy relationship, you could be more open to doing that. Mm. But I don't know. I mean, I've, I've only really um, heard about like polyamorous relationships through social media and stuff. So, yeah. you know, like we're kind of coming into that world with TikTok and a lot more Instagram where because everyone's sharing their lives so much and things are trending and sharing yeah. around, you start to understand more of the world and more of the relationships and what's going around. So it's only really because of that yeah. I understand about the polyamorous stuff. Yeah, and I love how people are so open about it. Like Willow Smith, she's um, yeah on the red table. Yeah, love she that. spoke about that. Yeah, yeah, she's really open. And what she said is that she doesn't actually really like having sex. She doesn't have sex with many people, right. or I don't think at all. But she likes to have different relationships with different people. So I guess, and I can understand this. There's stuff that I really like that 
partners in the past probably aren't as into and there's stuff that they're really into that I'm not really into so I can understand why you'd want relationships outside and for me personally I've recently broken up with my partner and like I said to him like you need to go and experience other people for a little while I think and like go and live your life a bit and see how shit everyone else is (laughs) yeah Yeah, girl you need to go and pick up the dregs of society (laughs) then you'll come crawling back (laughs) yeah where do you see how good this pussy is (laughs) No, but for real. No Absolutely. Jokes. <laughs> um, joking, but yeah. not joking. Um, but yeah, so I, from that kind of perspective, I can see why now, but that's after years of kind of being with someone, I guess. I think when I was younger, it would not have been something I would have been open to. I'd have been very possessive and mm, very... Um, yeah. It's an age thing. I think you just grow a lot more confident the older you get, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And, and also, also then people, I think people would say to that, like, you know, if you, as a, you and your partner, there's obviously people that have had relationships for like 20, 30 years and mm. have had solid, not gone outside of that. Yeah. People would probably think, well, why don't you just communicate your needs to that partner to find out what it is that you want and go on that journey together? Yeah. yeah but yeah. Sometimes, And maybe that's what leads to open relationships. Yeah. Because sometimes even if you, let's say you're with somebody, you meet when you're young, 17, 18, and you're together for the rest of your life or intend to be, I think it's quite you must have a really huge ego to really think I'm going to be everything this person needs every step of the way for the rest of our lives. Yeah. People grow, people change. And even if you are really good at communicating and saying, this is what I want, this is what I need, what happens when you find yourself and your partner is not in the space to give you that mm. particular need? You have to think, it's not only 18, 19, it could be 40 that you meet, but you've still got 50 years together or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's still a long time and no one's going to be that same person. Yeah. From, well, actually, someone today told me they've been the same person 20 years, so it could be. Wow. <laughs> Maybe they not think me. they have, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. me. Like, I, and I definitely, we've all been in long term relationships, and I feel like I've changed so much in a relationship. And sometimes there is a worry, and I've spoke to other women where it's like, you know, I don't know if we're going to vibe anymore because I've totally changed, I've grown yeah. in this way. So I do think it's something that always should be discussed and be open about and your sexual needs. And I think we need to be more confident about speaking up about sex. And this is like why we created this. We wanted these topics to be... Yeah, 100%. 100%. Open and spoke about. So I'm going to throw the hot seat to you, Queen, because we know that you're probably the most experienced in this area. (laughs) Yeah, most definitely. Um, I've been in an open relationship in my past previous relationship, um, really long term, um, 18 years plus. We were together and I feel like it was something really from the beginning was quite an easy subject for us to approach and talk about. Um, from God, I don't know how long, ever since I was a kid, I've always known that I'm bisexual. Mm-hmm. So my partner... Have you been with guys before you, girls before you were with him? No. Oh. I've just always fancied... I got together when I was really young. I was 19. Okay. So I hadn't... I mean, I'd had like flirtatious and right. all this kind of stuff, but never and like... I guess like back then, it wasn't as open it is now. To exactly. be gay now, like I'm so happy. It's such an open... Like, yeah. If you think like gay marriages were only legal in America, what, like six years ago, yeah, eight years ago? Wild. It's yeah. insane. It's crazy. I think it was 2016. Yeah, legal. yeah, so I think it was quite easy for us to broach that subject because he kind of already knew I liked women anyway, so it was really easy. And, and for a guy to see like two women, like it's quite hot. Yeah, yeah exactly. I love that. that. He was yeah. like, "Ooh, jackpot!" <laughs> yes. Yeah, marrying this one, <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> so I think when it all first started, we had been out on a night out. There was a girl that we were talking to. It was all very flirty, flirty. I could 100% tell that she was really into him. Mm-hmm. And that's something I actually find like a bit of a turn on. Yeah. Who doesn't want the hot guy that everyone is looking at? Yeah. And yeah. you know, it's like, guess what? His mind is coming home with me. But you know what, ladies? Feel free to have a look. Have a little grope if you like. I'm coming down. on with me. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm all here for it. So... We had a nice evening, the three of us just vibing, chatting, and then we decided to get a taxi home. We thought we'd drop her off home first, because you don't know one single girl getting in a taxi by herself. And it was like in the taxi, there was just like this moment of this really intense three-way kiss between the three of us. And it was like, it was such a turn on. We all loved it. Um, We didn't see her again, of course, Mm. pursue anything with her, because I think she actually had a boyfriend at the time. And whether or not he knew what she was up to, I don't know. But I just didn't feel like that's that's not the route we're trying to go down. Mm-hmm. We need everybody to be in wise eyes wide open type yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, so I guess after that happened, we kind of just started to think, hey, you know what? That was really cool. We liked this. What else can we get into? How can we explore this a little bit more? And 
bear in mind, you know, we were young, early to mid 20s. So as you do, like you go online, you start looking at websites, you start looking at like minded people and chat rooms and stuff like that. And there were like loads of chat rooms where couples and like minded people would come in, you'd have conversations. And if you really liked a particular couple or whatever, you could invite them, create your own private chat room mm. and you know, like what happens in the chat room stays in the <laughs> chat room, right? Um, until but now. Yeah. Until now, oh my God. <laughs> so there would be like, um, some people would really love to have sex on camera and you could either choose to watch or you could join or you could both have your videos on. Just whatever it was, everybody was in the mood for. Mm-hmm. And I found it quite liberating. I mean, if we had camera on, it would be like neck down. I wouldn't have yeah. my face in it or anything like that. But it's kind of like, just those little baby steps we took to explore what's it really like out there what what is this world all about because yeah. it was really interesting for yeah, us yeah. you know it's hot as well isn't it it's so exciting. hot it's pushing the boundaries really yeah. exciting pushing the boundaries and you've got that open honest vibe about it it's not like i mean i know some guys hide from their partners that they watch porn and things like that yeah, and it's like blows my mind it does yeah. like dude you must know he has a wank like <laughs> how do you think he doesn't and it's that kind of just taking away that restriction. If somebody's going to be your life partner for life, you don't really want to restrict their needs, no matter how bizarre or crazy they may mm-hmm. seem to someone else. Mm-hmm. I think that's the thing. Like when you're in a long term relationship, it's almost like you own that person now. And like, no, we're still free spiritual beings. Yeah. I still want to be able to experience this and that. And it's about having that level of relationship for me, where it's like, okay, let's try be accepting and comfortable where and everyone's being able to give that free space to communicate that that's what yeah. you're looking for, and actually for the partner to be like, okay, maybe I'm not down. Yeah. Thanks for coming to me, and then maybe you know you expand some other way. Exactly and venture. that. You know, it's not like I'm not saying to everybody if you go and tell your partner you want an open relationship, they're gonna love it and say yes. Yeah, they no, may not. Yeah. And you also, as the person in that relationship, need to be able to accept that. Mm. And if your partner is not interested in an open relationship, leave it as it is. You know, there's times in my previous relationships where I've just not been in a good place and I've not wanted to like you know interact sexually and everything mm. and. I've actually been like, yo, you could go have sex with someone else. And obviously they don't want it because they don't want me to do that. It, yeah, it's that two-way thing where it's like, okay, I probably would go and do it, but because she's told me I can do it. If for that man, they're like, I cannot go and do it. But yeah, yeah. Course, and for oh, me it was weird because I was like, I actually don't want to do it right now. So if you want to go do it, that's okay. Yeah, to be honest, I really respect that because like you said, you're going to go through phases. Why should your partner then suffer to, yeah. or go without because you're not feeling it? Yeah. I mean, I think it's completely different if you had, like, a horrible accident and then you couldn't and they were like, yeah. oh, gosh, can I go and have sex with someone because, you know, you're not able to. Mm. That's, that's a bit, yeah. that's peak, right? Savage. That is savage. But if you are just kind of going through some shit, which we all do, where's the fear? But then most people will say, oh, he will go with someone else, like, then better but never come back. Yeah, so did you, when you kind of went on to the open relationship thing, was you at a high in your relationship or a low? Because you're talking, Lucy, as a low of being like, you know, I'm not yeah. in a good place. So you go and explore. Reality, for, I really think that actually that would have been a massive problem in your relationship yeah, because no, of how you were low. thinking Sounds about like it, right? Yeah. yeah. You would have gone crazy. He was like, uh, gone no, so you're going to go sick and... <laughs> So, Queen, yeah. was you at the high or the low point in your relationship when you was like, let's do open? Most definitely at a high. Okay, cool. Everything was so, it, it was great, yeah. so exciting. Everything was so perfect. And we're, we had like a really super strong bond. And I think that's so important because mm. if you don't have that bond, you don't have that respect, you don't have that trust, mm. that's when shit gets messy. Yeah. And you really, know? with me being at such a low, he probably would have found someone else that was more interesting because I was a yeah. miserable. It would have been high, very like, easy. Uninteresting. Yeah. yeah. So I think... Always starting it from a high is better Mm -hmm. because then if you're going in because it's slow, then you're like trying to fix something, put a plaster on it, hide it, mask it. That's never gonna fix. It's never gonna work. No, it won't. It's gonna create jealousy, anxiety. Yeah, imagine you trying to come into that when he's been out exploring open relationship. Could be like, oh, I found a really cool girl. Like, let's have a threesome or something. And then you're new to it. It's not like you've done it together. You're not ready, and you'd probably hate her a little bit. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you felt so shit about yourself and, oh, that's the one that kept him going while I was in the dumps. I would always I say... So you have to be aligned. Yeah. I know, I get that. She but can't match me. I do not feel like any unconfidence when it comes to my bedroom skills. No, yeah. Like, and I don't doubt you, boo. I don't you know, doubt you. When you see open, the freak. I can see the freak. <laughs> With freak open relationships, leaky. some people choose to not make it about sex. Maybe they just want to go out and spend an evening with somebody who is completely different to their partner. They can talk about different things. And and I get that. 
Um, but I think with us, it was definitely more about experiencing other people and the fun you can have with other people. And it just, it brought light to our relationship. Did it teach you than... stuff as well, like in your own sexual relationship? Yeah, definitely. Really? You pick up but you'd be like, oh, that was a good step. Yeah. Or like if he would like, in an open relationship, if he was seeing someone and they'd had sex a few times or whatever, then he'd try a new trick and I'd be like, oh, where'd you learn <laughs> that from? Becky with the good hair. <laughs> 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 so it's all like, fun things like yeah. that yeah because you know if you're with a partner and they're cheating and they come home and they do something different you're then like oh yeah where'd you pick that up from? yeah that's new you've never done that before yeah. whereas if you kind of know where it came from you can then just be really open and free and chat and laugh and, and enjoy laugh. The see i would rather so have the conversation of someone being like hey we're not i'm not happy right now like would you be open to this mm -hmm. because i think either way you're still communicating about how things are instead of just like masking it and going and yeah. cheating on someone yeah like yeah. that's the worst thing and that's what i really respect about you guys is that you didn't go and do that stuff you did it as a fun thing together yeah and both were open really open line of communication yeah yeah and it was bags and bags of fun <laughs> we've had some wild experiences so you know where so where did it go so you, you had the kiss with the girl yeah you then Started met the couple. The, we had online profiles where right. initially it was just talking to people, the chat rooms, etc., etc. And then we thought, you know what, I think we're ready. Let's step it up a notch. Right. So our next natural step. Is this like years though? Like Yeah, this was over a period of about three, four years maybe. Okay. Yeah. Because, okay. you know, with the whole open relationship and things, it's not open all the time. You're not no. always seeing someone else. Well, for that That's exhausting. That like, you know, you've got a job, you've got kids, you've got life. <laughs> Two people's bullshit. Literally. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like sometimes it was on, sometimes it was off, but you would always know the vibe when it was on or off. Um, we then thought, okay. <clears throat> would there ever be a time where you're like, or he was like, I'm actually feeling a bit insecure, I'm not comfortable with this, like we mm. need to stop. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, we would have those conversations, like, so how are you feeling about it at the minute? Are we good? Do I see someone? Do I not? And there were times where even I've said, no, actually, I'm just not feeling the vibe at the minute. I right. think we just need to work on the two of us. And yeah, vice versa. It wasn't always one person saying, no, let's start or stop. Mm. So those conversations need to happen. And as soon as anything got uncomfortable or somebody was unhappy... It would have to stop because you have to remember your ultimate priority is the relationship that you're in. Yeah. Mm. Just because you like to have fun with other people, it doesn't mean they become the priority. Mm -hmm. So we've done uh, swingers clubs before. They were really interesting. Oh, swingers uh, club. <laughs> Tell yeah. all. So off of the I'm back interested. of... Um, yeah, I'm really open to going to a swingers mm. club. Do you know what? I've actually been to a party once yeah. when I was young. And it was like one of them like underground and really big London houses, you know, the underground thing. And I was like, so many naked people. It's like people sucking like this guy's balls. And it's like three women like all over. Obviously, I was young and a bit like scared. So I kind of ran out like, guys, this is too this much. Is intense. But like, I wish now I could go with this thing. Because I would be like, what? Like, What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, so we picked a club. Um, it was in West Brom. It actually been recommended to us by another couple. Um, we didn't do like a great deal of due diligence or research or anything like that. We kind of looked at the gallery, looked at the reviews oh, and we were like, boom, let's go. You know, yeah. It's like an hour away, let's just go. Um, so you turn up, you sign up, they check your ID, make sure who you are, you are who you say you are and you're of an appropriate age. Yeah. They don't sell alcohol in this place. So if you want a drink, if you want to buy a drink there, it's soft drinks only. So you know everybody's got their wits about mm -hmm. them. You can take your own alcohol and then they put it behind the bar and you can come back and they serve you. Um, it's like a big, massive mansion. There's different rooms, different activities going on. There's like a room with a new Hefner bed in there. <laughs> it's spinning around and people are watching. There's like a huge room that is essentially just a hot tub and people are all in there. Vibe. Vibing. Did you just get thought of the Amsterdam sex show? With the yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, yeah, slapping like partners. ham. Slapping then like we ham. had... Um, my, my most favourite place in the house was actually this big, giant cinema room. Massive room, cinema seats, proper all up in rows, all the way up. And obviously on the big big screen, they had porn. <gasps> that was just like... That's the dream, isn't it? Wow, what literally. We were walking around like kids in a candy store, like... <laughs> This oh is like an adult God. place. So like everyone's just fucking with porn. Yeah. With Do porn they have popcorn if no. you get hungry? Sadly, no popcorn, but no. I'm all right with that suggestion. Yeah, please do. But it was such a bizarre experience and we really enjoyed it. So we walked in different rooms and um, we went into this one room and there was a crowd gathered around and we were like, oh God, what's going on over there? So we thought we'd go in, have a little look, peeked. And it was two guys on a bed having sex. 
And we were kind of like, oh, okay. Maybe this is like the gay room or whatever. And we said, oh, is there different types of rooms for gay, straight, whatnot? Yeah. And one of the girls I was talking to, she said, actually, tonight is bi night. So everyone here tonight is bisexual. And I looked at my other half and he was like, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yes, winning. He's like, this is my worst. Life. Oh my God, bless him. I was in a party land. I was yeah. like, yes, these are my people. Um, so did you find obviously... any good looking women there? Because like, I thought, would you not have sex with women there? Yeah, I think when you when we went on the initial visit, it wasn't about, yeah, I'm so excited. Let's go and have as much sex as you want. Okay. It's just to really check it out, scope it out, okay. see what the vibe is about. We, we could have got there with these great expectations and have been absolutely horrified, hated it and never mm. wanted to go back. Mm. And I think looking back, yes, of course, like many places, they were met mixed. Some were butters, some were really hot, some were super old, some were a decent age type mm-hmm. thing. So on that particular occasion, we didn't go there to have sex with other people. It was really just more about us checking the place out and what we want to do with it. So, you know, he was kind of like, well, I'm not bisexual. Oh, this is really awkward. But we decided to stay and just go with it anyway. And I found people were the really, team, well yeah, <laughs> people were really respectful because they wouldn't just assume you want to be touched or assumed you're attractive mm. to them. It was very much of a get to know people, have a conversation. Yeah. And then if you want to... That's how it should be. Yeah, yeah. Take it somewhere private. Then I like you this because I think people wouldn't think this is how it goes. Like yeah. at home. <laughs> you're all in one room. Fuck! Yeah! <laughs> 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 you know, you're like, <laughs> Sticks in your ear, in your nose, like just everywhere. Slapped around the face. Oh my god. So I'm, I'm sure there are places that are seedy and maybe not as great. Yeah. <coughs> not as respectful, but in this particular place, it, it was a good vibe. We did have a bit of a weird incident. We were in the hot tub. Right. And obviously within this hot tub, there's couples here and there, people doing whatever, some just watching, some not. And we were kind of like getting into it, just doing our thing. And I just suddenly felt really claustrophobic. I was like, ooh, the energy's just shifted. Like, what's oh going no. on here? And I felt really uncomfortable. Are you sleeping together at this point? Like, I think I was just like on him in the pool right, like whatever. Okay. Maybe the dick was in there. I can't remember. But then I just suddenly like looked over my shoulder and there was like, <laughs> like a floating dick. <laughs> like this guy was just edging towards us. And all I could see was this freaking Stop. dick floating. Oh and I'm like, oh my God. So I said to him, Oh my God, there's a dick flying towards me. And literally out of nowhere, he just went, boop. <laughs> oh my God, are you joking? Dick slapped, from the dick slapped him in the pool. Literally. Was the guy not like screaming? <coughs> nah, he just kind of scurried back Did you hear the, the corner. I heard the connect that oh lives in my head my rent free ever God. since that day. He was literally like. Coming over like Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Got him. Like, it's floating. Towards. It's it bloating. was. That's all I, I could feel. I could sense the guy's presence. And then it was like... Oh. And I was just like, no, come on, dude. Like, we didn't Bless look at you. Him. We didn't invite you. Why are you floating over with your dick? Everybody first else is keeping their distance. First and last time he touched the dick. Probably first time and last exactly. time he did it by night as well. He just came out and I was like, what happened? He was like, I don't know. I just <laughs> slapped it. I just slapped it. I didn't know what else to do. And it was so funny. We exited. I really want to see this. I can just Imagine vision it. it. Like him going... Pew. Yeah. He really had your back. That's so had my back. What was and the I guy feel... like? Was he just like, all right, mate? I don't Did actually know. Off. I didn't <laughs> even look. I didn't turn fully to look. I. You were cringing I was so cringing. hard at that point. Like you can see what people look like. Yeah, it's, it's just dark. normal lighting. Oh, is it, would it be like? Oh, no, like I want like oh, nice okay. dim Very lighting. Intense. Like yes. sexy. It's like when you're in a club. Okay, oh, perfect. Yeah. You don't want to be there at the end of the night. Could you imagine you the zombies when it's time on the I don't know what I look like after one session, let alone a couple. <laughs> With multiple beats. The end is not pretty. You no. turn up with the fire and you go. I'm looking. <laughs> looking zombie. <laughs> so I do remember like after the night, we kind of drove home. We were in stitches. We were laughing all yeah. the way home. It was really good. You were on a vibe. high, like yes. a proper high. We were, and it was so much fun. So we kind of did go a couple of times more after that and then obviously we had more experiences with different people and stuff and that was really cool so the same couple that had recommended this place to us they were like oh we should meet up we should do a thing and we were like yeah okay cool so we drove to West Brom again where they lived met up with this couple like I remember looking at her thinking oh yeah god absolute spice Spice. she's so hot yeah Uh, but her husband was and how did you meet these sorry website through the chat the chat room yeah through the chat room and um, God, her husband was 
it was a beast. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was a mess. And I'm sat there. We're all eating dinner. Wait, did you see pictures of them before? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Because you got catfish. It was, so you knew already he was a beast? Yeah, but come on. Okay. Nothing prepares you for the reality, oh. does it? Oh, my God. Pictures were better this time. Yes, pictures Full were better. Oh. He knew his angles. Let's just say that. Oh, my God. Bless him. And then I'm sat there. It was probably his wife. Like, hi, and look. Yeah. Get in this Stand like this. Do your hair this way. <laughs> Don't. No, babe. I said, look to the left. You know? <laughs> the cross eye. Put that out. <laughs> <laughs> she knew she might get it <laughs> if she didn't sort that out right. she, anyway, knew, guys, she knew the extra it. dick wasn't coming sort your shit together. out <laughs> so, but you know what he was a nice guy he had good conversation and all of that so throughout dinner I'm sat there thinking I'm not going to have to take one for the team here. Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, oh, I was yeah. really triggered about it. But it was cool. I was going with the flow at this point. Good girl. I was going with the flow. <laughs> Can I ask I was dedicated. Bit? Would you, like, do you kiss? All of you kiss? A full I know, way like, kiss? a lot of people yeah. don't like... Um, no, no I mean, like, a lot of people, when they do stuff like this, that I spoke to, like, no kissing is a thing. I'm actually not a big, big kisser anyway, to be honest with you guys. So, mm. I don't mind kissing women, but I actually really don't think I've massively kissed any other bloke but I'm not big into the whole oh, tongue is thing. it like that in the sex club like no kissing then people do what they want yeah it's the couple that you're talking to or the individual that I think kissing's more of like an intimate it thing. is yeah. very I wouldn't want to just like yeah. stick my tongue in someone's like, no people do <laughs> yeah especially in a sex club you have no yeah. idea what's been in there Can't but I yeah. do think it's that's true like from a sexual health perspective no, the place was good. They had literally bowls of fucking condoms and lube everywhere. Oh, wow. And to be honest, I think most people we noticed having sex all had um, more wearing condoms up. and things like that. So okay. there could have been the odd one here or two who didn't have any. But then for all we know, there were a couple who came together and they right. know each other. So that's um, that was pretty good, to be honest. It was very safe. You felt very comfortable. And I was just, you'd be so surprised how open and nice... Because it's not like you sit down and they go, hey, so what does your vagina taste like? Like, it's not even like that. It's not like that. You don't turn up and they're like, sex. A lot of them, you know, you talk about what you do for work, your family. Oh, you're basically dating. Hundred percent, you're dating. It's, it's not a club. like wait in a sex club. Yeah. Well, it's Shit, not really? like hello. I would have been more I'm like, so you know, you're like from the back of the front. Right? And you can definitely take it there, but that initial to conversation. To no, no, no. But lace, that's do. that's kind of the ice break. Uh, not that I've been, but yeah. I've seen like there's a there's it's a very night rare. called Night of St Francis, mm. which is like the real high end stuff. You have to be invited to go, and they have like a full on. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been Girl. invited. Have you? Yeah. Can we get us the invite and we can go to that? Yeah, I'll message them. But basically, it's like a full-on night. So you'll have fire breathers, stilt walkers, entertainment, dinner, this drinks. This sounds fun. And then I think it's like 11 o'clock, you will take your masks off. And then you go off into your rooms and stuff. Because you want to network. Who do I want to fuck? Exactly. See, no, but For me, that. it's an emotional thing. This is the thing. For me, I'm like, could I do a sex club? Because if I can't drop my knickers at some point... At the drop the, of a hat. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But do you know Quasi what, babe? Alter like, ego. Oh, yeah. I'd I'll totally go, go into my Sasha Fierce mode. For yes. real. Like, Hollywood nicks would not even be here. It would be like a whole new... <laughs> a whole new... What yeah. is it? Your first name of your guinea pig and <laughs> mate, mother's maiden name, Scampy Robinson. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Oh no, that's your porn, that's your porn star. Yeah, hi, I'm Scampy Robinson. Guys, yeah. that's a fish. I know, I know, I don't know why I called it a scampi. Anyway, moving on, back, yeah. to, the, back to this. <laughs> You'd be surprised, the conversations start differently with different people, because I think people expect to turn up to a sex club and it's like, ah, straight away. Yeah. That's quite nice. Because ultimately, we've got to remember guys, we... We are normal humans. people. We're humans. Yeah. We're still social. Support. But it needs some emotion just, like, there, babe. Yeah, and you know, know what? Like, there is it. absolutely room for that. You probably wouldn't be alone in that room. <laughs> you could find somebody to just stick it in, trust me. <laughs> but some people don't want to just stick it in. Yeah. Um. So, the couple, the dinner, it finished. They were like, do you want to come back to us? We're like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm like, yeah, yay. Anyway, we get there, and like she was really sweet. She'd bought a set of lingerie for me. How did she know your size? You've told her before. She'd seen me naked. I think she kind of figured you're a small. Oh, you know, like right. pictures yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that. Just that part, just us two ladies upstairs in the room getting all dressed up. It's like up. the start of it, isn't that it? That was the start yeah. of it, really sexy. That's like the women you meet in the nightclub toilets. Basically, yeah. the, the equivalent. Friends. Exactly, yeah. apart from you don't go and get into lingerie and bang him, you well, know. Well, apart from the one that time wanted to bang him. Oh, she started yes. sending you all those messages, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we did that, went upstairs, and then the guys joined us a little bit later on, and it kind of turns out that this guy just really wanted to watch. 
He didn't oh. really want to be involved much. When like, you like, were relieved. Oh, like, wow, the gods were on your side. Didn't have to take the hit. Um, and then we all just obviously had a nice, fun sexual experience, really good evening. And then afterwards, we all kind of just went downstairs, watched a program for a little bit, and we were like, well, guys, um, <laughs> it's been, been a great. Pleasure. Yeah, it's been great. We're going to go home now. And we did again, drove home, kind of really dissected the evening. And I think for me, that's like probably the most, the fun bit. When you talk about it, you laugh and you're like, oh, can you believe I did this? Or, oh, yeah, when I was doing this, she was loving it. Yeah, that kind or of like, thing. that was really hot. Like, yeah, <clears throat> so it was so, so fun. I mean, we did have a couple of other encounters after that, but, you know, I think... With the same people? No, oh. different couple, but... Uh, <laughs> she was like, I've already got away once from the husband. Yeah, Don't I'm put me trying to go twice. back. <laughs> so then that's just kind of something that sometimes we would do it, sometimes we would not... And it wasn't as if we were open all the time. Like I said, sometimes it's on, it's off, depending mm. on your mood, your vibe, the strength of your relationship at the time. Yeah. And did you tell anyone else that you guys were doing this? No. I See, I think I think that's a great thing so that you did. Judgy. Mm. Yeah. And as we were only starting off, we really wanted to make sure we liked it, we our boundaries, mm. we knew what it was about, and it was fun for us. And we wanted to be strong and in our conviction. If we ever did tell people and they started to come at us, I wouldn't want to then suddenly start to feel bad about myself. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be able to look them in there and get, yeah, this is how we get our kicks. We ain't asking you to So you to did join. tell your friends so at some point? Eventually. Okay. And I mean it was, yes, I feel like some of our friends only really found out three, four years ago. It wasn't okay. common knowledge for a really long time, and so I don't see why it needed to be. We weren't <clears> inviting <throat> them into our relationship, so why do they need to know? So and what was their initial, yeah, initial reaction? I don't really know how to take this. They were like, oh, cool. Can't say we're surprised. Oh, really? Yeah. But I think because as couples, as a couple, as individuals, we are very flirty. Right. And there could be times where people would sort of say, let my partner flirt with one of my friends or whatever, where some people would go, oh, too far. I'm uncomfortable mm. with that. Mm. But I'd never flinch. Like, it just wouldn't bother me. So I think a lot of people knew where, oh, like, really flirty and yeah. that just open. See, I feel and like they I've been in relationships where, like, I don't spend time at all with my partner as in the night. And, like, they'll be with different people. I don't care who they are. I'll be with different people. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah. It's never been, like, a thing. So yeah. I totally get that. So, but they weren't really that surprised. I was like, oh. No, that's good. That's quite comforting. It yeah. sounds like you've got a quite a supportive network around you. don't even want to join in. <clears throat> yeah, because then that's ah. the next question, isn't it? Because, like, <laughs> like ah, who starts asking all the questions? Mm. I mean, there were some more curious than others, let's yeah, say that. Yeah, of course. And I could, you know, some might dip a little toe in there. But ultimately, all my friends are in relationships, so that was never going to be an option anyway because they're not in open relationships. But definitely some were really curious and had loads of questions and really just wanted to know how... Everything have your friends done out. that before or had they no no i don't really think any of my friends have had that kind of experience so unless they have <clears> and they're holding out on me <laughs> <laughs> so with the open relationships like it really sounds like it's very important for the communication side i think yeah. with anything anyway anything sexual um what's the what kind of boundaries were you setting as a couple yeah so with the open relationship i think with the open relationship it's sometimes like it could just be he fancies having sex with someone else or maybe there's just quite something I'm not doing at that time or a need I'm not fulfilling and he kind of thinks actually when I speak to this girl mm -hmm. I feel really good about this part of myself so I'll probably spend a bit more time with her over the next few weeks just to get that need met and um, you don't feel any type of way no I don't I think what bothers me is but the important thing with the open relationship is like you must go up to the person you want to see you have to be super honest. I am in a relationship. I am married. It is open. Yeah. Are you comfortable with that? You know, people say no. You're like, that's a shame. Take care. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. And if they are okay with it, then you move forward. But we had kind of like rules. It's like you, there's no point going out there in an open relationship and forming a, a an emotional attachment. That person isn't your new girlfriend. Yeah. That's not your new boo. You know, you we are still together. You just have certain needs that mm -hmm. need to be met by that person. Um kind of things like certain times of the evening don't call don't text don't be all about them in the evening we still have to remember that it's our time family we're together unit, yeah family unit no calls after a certain time um i didn't really how often is everyone's like how often you can see them or we never really got you know because life is busy mm -hmm. life is busy you would see them every so often every few months every few weeks or whatever but 
we didn't have I didn't have the discussion of the rules of how often you can see someone. Mm, but I right. guess if you <coughs> if you wanted to, you could say no more than three times a month or no more than once a month, that kind of thing. It just depends on what's comfortable and what feels Would it also be good like a length you? on the relationship? Because would you ever feel like, you know, if they're doing it for six months or a year, it's actually becoming something more or would that not matter? Um, it didn't matter. We never really approached that, actually. But I did have a girlfriend, a girl that I was seeing. But again, it was really important to me that she was very close with her partner and friends. And then that actually literally went on for well over a year. Oh, wow. So there wasn't a limit. But then... It's not like every time I would see her, we would have to have sex. Not at all. Mm. Sometimes she'd just come, we'd hang out, we'd go shopping. We'd just do normal things like you and yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end of the day, the strap one would come up. You know, that <laughs> kind of thing. So there was, we didn't have a limit on how long you can see someone. It was just about the respecting of those boundaries and knowing that that person isn't there to replace your partner. It's just adding to your side bits. And have you had anybody that has really pushed that boundary? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, there was one woman that he met, my partner met, I think he was out on a um, stag do last night, whatever, and he met this woman and he did come over the next day and tell me about it. He was like, oh, I met this lady, look at photos, like we're, oh, what does she do? All of this kind mm. of stuff. And I'm usually quite good at telling the red flags, people who are not, yeah. partic- people may think they want to be part of an open mm. relationship, but they're not ready. My instinct is really strong. A lot of women really strong. do have struggle. agendas. Yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. Do. Like, I'm not going to lie. Women are not the most trustworthy people. We're not really learned to stick together and like you know support each other. A lot of women are here to still be a man. Like, mm. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah. And I think for me, the instant red flag, which I did tell him about, um, when they were talking apparently, when they were out about this open relationship situation, the question she asked him was, well, if you're in an open relationship, what would you do if you met somebody who made you feel alive? But that's where she doesn't really understand what yeah. it's it, what's in it for you yeah. too. What makes you think I don't currently feel alive yeah. because I'm out here talking to someone else on that level. Dude, I'm so alive. I'm out here being able to do this. Yes. Yeah. So I said to him immediately, that's a red flag. Mm. She's going to want more. That sounds to me like she's ready to escape And you know she's what at. a woman's like, because you're yeah. a woman. Like, we I can know, read women. That women's that is, cannot read I was women. just going to say, that is the risk. Like, we know as women how easy it is to get emotionally attached through sex. Yeah. Like, mm, we just are. Men aren't thing. like that with us. So it, that takes some serious trust from you, Queen. To be honest, I fully 100% trust him. And that's why it didn't bother me. I knew what her intentions were and I was okay with it because she was never going to win because I trust him. And But I needed him to learn that for himself so he doesn't have those what ifs Mm -hmm. thoughts. And you know what? Turns out I was completely and utterly right. She became completely obsessed, disregarded all the rules, would call it ridiculous o'clock. We're bitch even trying to FaceTime at half 11 at night. And I'm like, girl, Mm. there was a time where I was like, hello, I answered it. Oh, I was hoping, I said, no, he's um asleep, actually. Maybe I'll get him to call you tomorrow. Yeah. Just really weird shit like that. Yeah. Oh. And it did completely get out of hand. And in the end, he just had to say to her, look, I really can't talk to you anymore. This is not what it is we were looking for. And I think trust is a really big part of it. And to be honest, with that situation, it did all end a little bit tragically for her. Mm. You know, she got really obsessed, super attached. And, you know, she was starting to talking about, oh, what would you do if I left my partner? And also oh another God. thing that I felt a little bit uncomfortable, although it was not my business, her partner didn't know that she was seeing someone else. Oh, so yeah. I just thought to myself, girl, can you not see? Like, you're putting yourself in some bullshit. You can't even talk to your partner about it. You're sneaking, hiding, lying. Like, to me, that was weird. That's why it was so beggy from her, because it sounded yes. like she wanted to then convert to your yeah. partner. She was looking for some girl see that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was absolutely gosh. looking for a new man, and I wasn't really, I wasn't here for it. Um, but I was confident and secure enough that I would let it play out. How long is that the longest do? relationship that either of you have been in? Probably about a year. Oh, okay. Him, not so much long-term people, but you know, like, obviously... I don't have a lot of energy or time to be mm, wasting yeah. looking for people. So once you find somebody who's a nice match, they respect your boundaries and they fit. And I think it's different, like, woman to a woman. Yeah, definitely. Because women, I feel like, are a lot more respectful to, like, boundary stuff, women to women. Whereas women to men, like like I said, women want to steal your man. Yeah, they do. It's de- yeah, it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. It's interesting, though, that you said about the boundaries. So there was a South African guy that I um, matched with on a dating app and thought oh my god so fit like this is it um got talking and then he was like oh by the way i'm married i was like oh here we go 
Um, and he's like, but I, I'm in an open relationship. My partner knows about it. It was mm. something we've been, I think they've been doing it for like 12 years. Wow. Where they like have somebody that comes into the relationship. They travel the world together. But they said there's just never going to be anything romantic with us. Like, mm. he's, he, he said it's not just sex. He said, you know, we'd go for dinner. We'd get to know each other. Just you two, all three of them. Just the just two of too. us, but he said there will be times where, you know, we could be on holiday and we'll be there with my wife and her partner from an open relationship. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it does make awesome or? Yeah, so it does make you think. Like obviously That's I was just so at the time I was like, no way, like, like ah. way too much for me at the time. Um but I like that they set boundaries. Yeah. But it didn't sound Did he tell you the rules? Yeah. So, because I was just so inquisitive, so I was like, okay, so how does that play out? Mm -hmm. So he was like, we'll go for dinner, because he said, I don't do one night stand things. Like, I genuinely need to get to, uh, get to know you on an emotional level. He said, but, um, yeah, it, obviously it's mainly sex. We'll be going for dinners and stuff, but... But you're, I'm never, you're never going to be... Like, you're not going to bring him with your problems? No, like it that. is that, you know, get together here and there for... Yeah. For the obvious, so and I do see, really I love it. That and because... I think the more you're talking about, it, the more I'm intrigued. I'm like, oh, this sounds really interesting. But really, ultimately, I know what I'd want in a relationship. I want to be able to snuggle up and watch a film and ring you when I'm having problems. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I. And if really you were the third party in an open relationship and you haven't got access to that level of um, intimacy with the other person, that can be really difficult. Yeah. But of course, for the couple, they're happy as shit. When yeah. the woman's feeling tired and haggard, she can't be asked to have sex with their other half. She can be like. Oh, which one are you? Uh, <laughs> so go see Jennifer this evening. I'm <laughs> really not in the mood. <laughs> so the open relationships does, <laughs> from what I've heard today, it sounds very much a lot more sexual of like the just the connecting with somebody for maybe a bit of sex. Would you say? I think so. To be honest, I think so. Um, it is definitely more what can we explore sexually. Certainly from my perspective and my relationship, I can't talk for all open relationships, but. Yeah, I think it's definitely a bit more sexual. Truth bomb time. And if you ever had a threesome, or have I ever had a threesome? <laughs> so, as you guys know, I have had a threesome. Woo! <gasps> yes, I did. Um, and it has turned, well, it turned into a thruple. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah. No so, so, so you haven't done the thruple thing? I haven't done a thruple thing, no. Okay. So, I, would love, I would love to do a thruple thing though not gonna lie okay 100% it would be so great do you know what it's How actual it what do you love about the thruple thing though like from an open relationship have you done it so you haven't done a thruple thruple being all three of you in a relationship yeah. no pretty much and what would you like about that I would love just having two people who are all about me all about each other all about having fun you've got more energy to bounce off of it's like you're going mm. on a date Three of you. Oh, I love it. Let's, how do we get into this? <laughs> so, I was basically... Mandy Nixon. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Please Hi. stop listening from now. Yeah, cut I don't off. care. I'm pretty sure Mandy Nixon's been in a cheeky threesome. Um, oh, so, Mum. Please, can we get her on? Yeah, Mum, you're coming on as a guest. No, so, okay. So, I was... I wasn't looking for a thruple and um, I definitely wasn't looking for a threesome at the time. Obviously, when you come out of a long-term relationship, mm -hmm. you're just out there dating. I met a guy in London and we got on really, really well. Just basically didn't really go anywhere, just turned out very, very casual. But we were having great sex and you know when you just start talking about threesomes and like, oh, you know, what's your fantasy and wouldn't it be yeah. great? And you know, you just, you just get into that little Had he hole. had a threesome before? No. Oh, okay. But obviously, oh, I, I feel love your So every guy, I feel like every guy's dream is to have a threesome with, yeah. with two women, right? So, um, yeah, it kind of like died off between us. And then we were just chatting again. And he was like, oh, do you know what? I think I know somebody that would be great for a threesome. And mm. I was like, oh, I don't know. And then he was like, actually, I feel like, and I get this, for men, Obviously, for them, they're like, yeah, okay, I'll have whoever. But yeah. for the girl, if there's been history there, he was like, I think you should find her just because on an emotional level, yeah, you don't want to have any like bad feelings there. And I thought, do you know what? Because we're so casual, it's cool. So, so um, he knew of somebody that he'd obviously previously had a thing with. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to go with it. Just trusted his gut. 
I was down. How did he know she'd be open? They'd had the chat? Or? They'd had the chat. Okay. Oh, okay. And then that. there was a three-way chat that was created <laughs> on WhatsApp. And it was just like... All and guns how did they go from a threesome to a throuple? Like, oh, no okay, way. so basically... So bearing in mind, her and I had never met. But obviously we were on the WhatsApp chat. So I was a little bit nervous about this because you can just vibe with somebody on a WhatsApp chat, but then actually in person, yes. you're like, oh, yeah. not on it. But yeah. I've seen pictures that are just like really pretty. Is, if like you've done it with her before and now with you, then it's like um, you're obviously going to kind of get on because it's the same type, I guess. We're all freaky deaky, complete yeah. freaks and all got the same vibe. So yeah, so really pretty, like brunette, blue, like similar to me. So I was just like, yeah, spice. Um, spice. spice. Had you been with you the women twins? before? No. Oh my god. No, oh. I've never been with a woman. Like a whole no. New experience. Babe, you really I, jumped in the deep end. Last year, I was just like, you know, I was just like, do you know what? Spontaneous. Live a fuck yes yeah. life. And do a lot of your friends know this, or are they gonna be surprised when this comes out? Hey. <laughs> some of them will know. Some of them won't. But and have it is they been is. judgy about it? Or? Let me get into it, and okay. then we'll talk. We'll talk. Sure. So many questions. So many questions. So <laughs> basically, we were just like, okay, this night, let's get together, have a couple of drinks, and then just fuck, basically. Wow, because you weren't even going to like see how things went first. No, we yeah. just thought, yeah. the intention. Just, like, you I knew think, the intention. I think of this thing, like, we knew that all three of us were going to be really anxious, really nervous. Mm. And we turned up and we were all just like laughing about the situation. <laughs> then we thought, you know, we just made some cocktails, got really fucked. And then just chuck some porn. Porn saves everything. It does, doesn't it? You know, turn up the heat a little bit. And Bob's your uncle. We just went in for the kill. And it was a wild night. It was a wild night. We all got a bit too hammered. And maybe that was like probably not the best thing to do. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I had a tactical chunder that night. <laughs> or maybe in the morning. But um, it just, it was just so, so spicy. But literally it was, so, oh, I can't explain it. It's just a buzz, isn't it? Like it's energy. Such a buzz. It's, you know, like a drug, you get that high. Yeah. I get why people go to sex clubs and stuff because yeah. it is such a high. It's such a high. So, literally two days after, we're back in the chat and we're just talking about how great it is. Do you know what was really funny the first night? So, we were fucking and then we actually stopped mid fuck and we were just like sat on the bed like, this was the best thing ever. This is the best decision ever. And then I we're talking that. about how great it is and how, you know, we all feel. And everything is communication, right? That. And there's a yeah. little stop. It's like, Every, everyone okay? Everyone yeah. wants some water? He actually, oh my God, this is going to kill you. He actually got refreshments. He was like, we're in for a long night. He got Lucasade, <laughs> bars, crisps, snacks. So that if we wanted to have a break, we could. I mean, we never had the snacks because I think we all passed out. But <laughs> it was just great. So, um... Then, that yeah, we're back in the WhatsApp the chat, vibe. and, you know, we're all like, oh. Did you bring, like, tools to this? Oh, because, yes, like... I did. That's what broke the ice. Okay. So I turned up with my bag of tricks. <laughs> I could answer this part. No, I, it was le legit like that. He just so this back. one does this. <laughs> he sat back, and he was just watching, and he was, you could just see the smile on his face of, like, yeah, this like, is coming oh together God, so nicely. But, we're, you know, we're all into it. And exactly. then she's You're like, what's so this and what's that? And I'm like, babe. Using that yeah. new oh um, so yeah and then that kind of broke the ice luckily um, but anyway so after the first have session have you always wanted to sleep with a girl though or was this like I think it's just the thing like when you watch porn and stuff you're just that is predominantly what's in your face isn't it it is yeah. so I thought do you know what I'm, I don't feel like I'm bisexual I definitely don't think I'm lesbian but in the moment of the threesome it I'll do what bite. I'll do and it's funny because her and I had the discussion of like you know, if her and I were together, we wouldn't feel the need to go and start eating each other out. Yeah. But okay. in the moment, you just do what you do because it's hot so and it's fun. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. after the... How uh, is it going down on the girl? <laughs> you really went there. Do you know what? It's just, it's fine. It's fine. Do you feel like it's you know exactly like, what to do because you have one? This is the thing. And they're all different though. I did say to him, I was like, I'm coming for you because you think you're good, but I know what a girl wants, so. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just, it's fine. Is it ever like, actually, can you really be like, Holly, carry on? I don't know, I'll ask her. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask her. We don't really talk that much anymore, to be fair. Um, but... He, um, so he was obviously gassed after the first yeah. one. We all were, all three of us were gassed. And he was just like, oh, I've got an event on. Shall we go to a hotel and stay over? This was two days after. So I had two threesomes in the space of three days. Oh my God. Wow. How was it done? 
babe, I was like burning up. <laughs> it, I was burning up. It was just, oh my gosh. Honey, it's a lot. Right. Like, have, imagine having sex with one person and you have sex with two people in three. It's a lot, mm-hmm. okay? And the energy, like the exercise it, in there. I know, great for calorie burning. And then there was like a bit of a turning moment because I think the thing... After that night, that was where we were like, do you know what, this is actually a vibe, and we all get on. I remember he was asleep, and me and her had a bath together, and we were just like chatting and finding out. And I think for me, I just wanted to make sure that we were both on the same page, because I just didn't want there to be any jealousy from either side. I wanted to know kind of where she was at with the situation, where I was at, and just let her know that there was like an open line of communication with me. I love that. I think it's important. And I think why it worked was because um, neither of us were in a relationship with him. Mm. We were totally cool with how it is, you know. And yeah, it, it it worked really well. So then we did actually have a conversation. We were like, Look, we all really enjoy hanging out together. And this is the thing I think with people thinking threesome is just sex. A yeah. thruple is actually a relationship. So, so when at the time you were in a relationship. Well, he said it and I was just like What he said it to you two. He, the first he was two. just like like I'm so obviously he is so happy and he is loving life. But I was also loving life, enjoying yeah. it. She was. It wasn't just you know, get together to and fuck. It love. was yeah. really nice. We'd go out for dinners, go out for drinks. Really I held a dinner party one night and we were playing cards. You know, like oh, just spending cute. time together and talking yeah. about stuff and just having so many laughs and so much fun. So, um, yeah, it really become like a thing. And then we had an agreement where I was just like, right, who's on the dating apps? I just think it needs to be really fair and nobody can be fucking outside because sexual health is a big thing, right? Mm. Mm. So we were all in agreement with that. I think the whole thing throughout it, it was just the communication was so good. Like, we'd get together and discuss how's everyone feeling. Yeah. Um, you know, there's... Yeah, it was it was very good. Yeah, I think that's... Would you do it again? Yeah, I would. Um, For, like, a long term? So, oh, this is the thing. Um... I think, well, it died down because we were just all so busy with work, lived like quite far from each other. um, And she actually met somebody because she's a travel agent. So she met somebody abroad. So I don't really know how long that would have lasted. Mm. But at the time I was just like, go with the flow. Now I I ask myself. It's hard enough in a two person relationship because you all want different things. But having another person, it's quite hard. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, I love the idea of getting married. Yeah. Um, I, one thing that was probably like a negative of it is, you know, we'd probably meet like once, twice a month. Whereas for me, I want sex like weekly. Yeah. And then it's like the comfort of having someone on the sofa with you just like snuggling up to like, that is the thing that I really miss is more the intimacy in a relationship, which you can't really get when you've got three people's lives to revolve around and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know if I decided, you know what, I don't want to get married or, whatever then yeah maybe how would you feel about an open relationship if you were married say so um mm, i'd rather be in a thruple well yeah. how about like if you just did what you two did where you're married but you do go out together and do sex yeah i think like ideally like what i have realized through you know last year or whatever is that i am very like highly sexually driven and i definitely need to find a partner that is on that it's same wavelength that, with yeah. me mm. And I think if I did like find a husband and he and we had a great communication, trust, like, you know, really loved each other mm-hmm. and that was something we both decided we wanted to do. Yeah. But I think it I don't know. I haven't been to a sex party, so I can't really comment on that. Yeah. But from a thruple, I like the fact that we've got one person, you know, there's that additional person that you know you can trust, there's yeah. a good relationship there. Did you thruple ever speak about like going to sex party and like, or was it not? Yeah, um, I just think we never got round to it. Okay. But yeah. That would have been fun. Yeah. And interesting. And interesting. Yeah. But who knows? I'm still single. Thruple, if you're listening. <laughs> Come back to I me. I love it um, because what you said about sexual energy, and I think that's something we all need to own as women. I think that's what I want people to get from mm. this talk as well. Even men, like, we all have this amazing sexual energy that's so powerful. And, and we're also ashamed, ashamed of, of it. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, but this I'm is, putting people down and judging a people. A lot of this comes from friends. So you asked a question earlier about 
how did your friends react? Yeah. It's interesting. So some of them was like, he is taking full advantage of you. And I turned around and I was like, but how do you not how know you that know I'm that? not taking advantage, advantage of him? him? Yeah. Like, I'm doing it for my sexual kicks. He's doing it for his, his sexual kicks. And Where she was doing it for here? her sexual kicks. Like, we're all getting what we want. Yeah. We come away, live our lives and get back together, have like a really nice social and, and do whatever. Yeah. So I think... I'm assuming he had to pay for dinner for some of the women as well. So. He is a gentleman. He did <laughs> pay for dinner, drinks and no. all the hotels. Um, But... Yeah, that's just the the one thing from it, which is funny because when I saw on Daily Mail about David Hay, Una, and I looked on the Instagram accounts, David Hay, men, legends, women yeah. commenting, but then they, when they commented on Una's, I think that's her name, it's just like, oh my God, why would you do that to yourself? Yeah. Oh. That's so it's that. like, why why is it like that? Why is it why women negative? Pre- yeah. Because I think people are like, women are so weak and pathetic. There's no way we can handle being in a situation like that. We must be in some form of pain mm. when we're part of a brothel. Mm. No, actually, I'm good. I think like that's so empowering, personally. Yeah, like, but people this don't is what you want to like do. That. It's not like you're forced into this or you're trafficked into it. No, like and... and you know, I remember him saying at any point, like, if you guys aren't down, like, you're not down, you're just come away. Know, yeah. We we did keep saying to him, like, we are going to want to meet somebody at uh, some point. And, you know, he was obviously like, no. But, <laughs> but, you're my girlfriend. Yeah. And um, it was just, it was just a really oh, nice. Oh, your girlfriends and boyfriends. I, I, don't know, I don't know if you'd call weird. it that. I yeah. that word anyway. I'd say it's more of a, I'd say it's more of a B, right? Because in a lot of thrapples, it is like, the girl and girl, the girl, like, you've got that three-way thing where a V is more like her and him, her and him. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, her and I wouldn't do our thing together because yeah. we okay. just, it was so more in the moment. So you like, do stuff separately no. outside of the three? No, 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 no. Oh, and that was okay. a big thing as well is... Um, Did you kind of all sit down and make these rules before deciding to be in a thruple? So we got into the thruple and then it was kind of like, as you thought, you know what, this is actually quite a serious thing and we're like doing these dinners and these dates. I think you do need to set the boundaries from the get-go. Um... I, you know, I said to them, I was like, I actually don't care if you meet up and fuck outside me. Like, I really don't care. It's not that deep for me emotionally. Um, whereas you don't know what it's like on the other side. So mm. I just think if you set the boundaries... Um, and everybody agrees. Everyone agrees. You know, respectful. we try and speak as much in the three-way chat. That's what we were doing. And, um, you know, I would never go and sleep with him. She wouldn't go and sleep with him. I just think then that way cuts all the jealousy, cuts all of the bullshit. And I think it's that's how it was. It's like all live far apart as well, because the only time you are meeting up is together. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so that's how it just, yeah, I think we were really lucky and it was a very unique situation mm. because I don't know if I would be able, I don't know. Would I be able to deal with it if it was like me and my husband and then them coming in mm. fresh? But then I just said, you know, if you've got that really good relationship with your husband and you've it's agreed it. Strong, yeah. But yeah, everything's done to like we all grow and change. And once you've had these experiences, it might not be something you want forever. And I yeah. just think it's like, if you feel it, go for it. Like, yeah. Don't experience it. Something that. that's been ticked off my bucket list of 40 yeah. things to do before 40. So. Girl, you did that early. I did that early and just getting through so it. So you come, you were like, right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. So, but please, everyone, don't start reaching out for thruples because. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, Jake. The DMs will be like, the DM's going to be puppy. No, but and, and it blew my mind when we put something on the Instagram. Yeah. About oh, yeah, how, how many people have had threesomes? I was really shocked at yeah, how many people like had threesomes. Over sixty-three percent of the people who follow us have had threesomes. Mm. Um, I also asked people, the same group of people, would you be interested in an open relationship? Absolute majority said hell no. Right, interesting. It's funny. So people are happy to go out and fuck and have threesomes. But it's the emotional connection of knowing that your partner is into someone else that they don't right. like. So this majority said no. Because it's like no. fulfilling a fantasy in this environment Reason. that's not kind of real as such. Yeah. Whereas like in a relationship, it is a very huge that's thing it. to open it up. And then we also asked, um, how would you feel about your friend saying she's in a thruple? Would you su- would you be all for it, against it, or you'd be concerned? And a majority of people were saying, I would be concerned that my friend is being taken advantage of. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, there were some really good comments actually in the inbox. They were saying, yes, I would feel concerned, but, and some people openly admitted, it's because I'm not educated enough on thruples and open relationships. I don't know what it entails, but right now I know I feel it's negative. Mm. So I'm really hoping by having this chat, 
hearing from people who've had these experiences in a relationship, not in a relationship, proper type situation, people really get to see that actually it's not just some weird, seedy, fucked up thing that people do. Some people do it because they've got different desires they want to be met. And more often than not, if everyone's really honest, it can be really quite healthy and mm. fun. Mm. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, have fun with it. And oh, and when you... the fun stops, stop. Yeah. Exactly that. You'll know as well when yeah. it's time to move on, for sure. Yeah, like, you only live once. I'm up for trying everything once, so okay. I'm down. Like <laughs> Do a thruffle. Not it. a thruffle. I can't be bothered with that, I don't think. It's definitely a commitment. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I. Like, mm, I think you two should go to a sex party. I think. That yeah. Would be start a vibe. there. Let's all three go to a sex party then. Like, yeah. That's gonna be our. You're gonna take us that that one. Not vanilla. I no, feel like the I know one that you people. get the invite to. Oh, okay. I'll get the invite. What if they don't want us there? <laughs> they do. They will. They oh, do. Great. Brilliant. They will. They Put will. That they out will. There, they they will. will. Of course they will. Look at us. Look at us. But yeah, wow. I think that's all frapple chat. It's actually one more thing I want to speak about. The last topic. So as I was researching this, actually, UK um, IVF clinics are open and welcome to throuples having babies. In the UK? Yes. Wow. Wow. June 2022, this was put out. No Um, way. Yeah, that IVF clinic's open. So the only thing is, is that only one to two people can be on a birth certificate. So all three can't. I mean, you'd get over that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah I would be like, I'm not being a best with because I'm all the head out there. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably be the guy that'd be like, don't put me on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you two women have got the... <laughs> so have to pay that child support. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Well, it gets quite messy, though, doesn't it? And there was actually a lawyer on there that was like, this can get really messy and it all can. this kind of stuff. So That's because so essentially... interesting, though. If even, like, for the government to even f- uh, think about that. Yeah, because if that clearly proper a broke up, yeah. one of those parents has no legal rights against that child. Yeah. That's wild. That would scare me. I would want to make sure my name's on that birth certificate. Simple. Yeah. Because if and you're like, not on there... three people raising a child, like the way you want to educate, the way you want to discipline them, like yeah. that is a huge thing. That's like, big enough for two people. Yes. Like we have kids and I find it's quite a huge thing in our relationship, like how we parent and stuff. Mm. So... It's just some food for thought. I thought it was really interesting. That is interesting. I don't... Oh, gosh, that is wild. <laughs> that is wild. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't want to add a kid in there. No, you wouldn't. You no. wouldn't. But I guess there's actual trouble relationships. Like, yours sounded like it was something that was fun and was for a short-lived really thing. Really sexual, Not like nice a fantasy, time. fun. Yeah, I mean, he, whereas, like, there's people that actually have this as a real marriage. Like, no, but it, it can get serious. And hmm. he, I know he definitely wanted that. Um... But again, it's just down to each individual's needs and what they are looking for. Because in America, what I did look into, the one in nine people, it mainly was people having relationships and living together. They yeah. have like separate rooms, but in the same house, which I quite like, actually. I imagine having another woman to you help know you out. It's, it's actually, it was so fun. Like, we would message each other, like, plan underwear, like... Oh plan presents and just you know funny stuff and that's lovely it's like you've got that little friendship there yeah mm. so it's just like having a girlfriend that <laughs> you fuck <Exactly>. but <laughs> that is so exactly cool that. though i love that but you've yeah. done this like yeah. that's such a cool experience another thing ticked off the list yeah but yeah wrapping that up thank you so much girls i feel like i couldn't really have much input so i've actually never had a free sure you've learned a lot to come to come i've learned so much i've always had a fear of going down on a woman like having a vagina in my face it's really freaky. honestly me out. it is so minor really i i felt like that okay um and also you like pl- you fear about like the awkwardness after and when you said earlier about you know went downstairs watched some tv that yeah, is exactly how it is exactly how it is yeah. high five you shouldn't, yeah, you shouldn't really, I wouldn't personally have sex in any situation where I felt awkward with the person. We have to be like vibing. Yeah. That's kind of like, we, I've left that in the past when you're young and you're like awkward with sex. But if you really get to know that person and have that connection, and sometimes you don't need three weeks to get to know someone. Sometimes no. it's instant. Yeah, mm. it's a vibe, isn't it? Yeah. See, that's really interesting because, oh, I guess like you'd had the WhatsApp chat before that you got to know her before. Yeah, you but... you were like, I can't see with someone on the first time. So like, really... Yeah. They had, had to, that build up. Yeah, I could see she was like, the same vibe as me. Yeah. Had the same like, interest actually in stuff. Um, some laughs and, you know, just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so that's fun, babe. I'm so happy for you. I'm well, I'm not in it now, this. but I mean, it was well, great yeah. when it <laughs> happened. Yeah, another that's one fun. to the, to the world. So, yeah, we just want to, like, make this a completely normal topic. Yeah. And women, like, embrace your sexuality. Like, something for me, especially, I used to be in a very sexualized industry, 
And I'm going to talk about this in another topic, but like it gave me so much confidence and I think it gave me a lot of confidence in the bedroom and yeah, I just, I really, I think you can be sexualized and be sexual. Mm. Like it doesn't need to be like you're sexualized, you're, you're a whore or you're this, you're mm, that. No. You can be sexual, be in a throuple, be in a relationship and be the most freaking divine, amazing woman because yeah. what it is is expressing your true self. This is what the real you wanted to go and do. And you didn't let anyone's people's opinions judge you or no, put you down. No. Same with you. And Absolutely. I definitely think it was good with what you said about actually not saying anything to friends initially yeah. because you just don't business. want that judgment in the back when of your head. When you tell me like all that time ago, I was so happy. You're like, tell me everything. I need to know. Like, I want details. You're like, girl, you're the only friend who's asked for this level of details. No, I think it's easy. It has always intrigued me though. I often, like, one of my fantasies is to have a threesome. I think you I should think do it. Amazing. It's so much fun, and it How about definitely. Opens, three girls. It, Anyone open to that? Not us three. I was oh like, oh girl. my god! You know what? This no, is she she found her way in. She has. This She's is why you wanted to do a podcast. All season. She found her way in. This is why we're not going to mix business and pleasure, girls. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> So, see what happens at the sex party. Oh my gosh! But yeah, like just coming for me. <laughs> Holly, are you okay? Blink twice. I'll if have you the need strap help. on ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to buy a semi-decent one first. Oh, this is so funny. This is what we're here for, though. Like, we're here for a good time, not a long time. Not really? <laughs> yeah. We know your motivation. Lacey. Oh my god! Basically, just. Get in your feels, have sex. Explore what you explore. want to explore. Yeah. Fuck the and haters. don't tell anyone if you don't want to tell anyone. Like, yeah. do it in private. Sex and just is fun. And enjoy it. And clearly get on Tinder if you want to sit up, like, try and open relationships. There's plenty of them on there. Yeah, there really is. But sex is fun. Sex is normal. As long as it's safe and you're looking after each and everyone's other. Consensual everyone's consensual. Everyone's And there's an agreement in place. Yeah. And great communication. Just do what the fuck you want to do. Yeah, enjoy it. Like, embrace it. Yeah. And... Yeah, I think that's all from us. I've absolutely loved this episode. Thank you. I've, I've loved this. So I have much. loved it. And if anybody's Thank got you. any questions, comments, yes, get involved, guys. Thanks. Amazing. Bye. Bye.